Hey YouTube, it's Sparkman here, and today we kind of have a review video of the Mana Studio website of basically explaining why we got the grades we did um, for our, our card return, right? So because we got all our 10 cards back, I'm sure you saw that amazing card return we got, and um, we got some pretty good grades, so make sure to go check that out, but uh, we're going to be kind of like reviewing of why we got the grades we did on the Mana Studio website today. And, uh, you know, give you guys an inside look as why Mana is so different from other grading companies. It kind of gives you a, uh, uh, you know, a review of their review <laughs> um, of why they're giving the, the card a certain grade, which is so nice, um, honestly, because sometimes I'm always wondering why a card gets a certain grade. But now it kind of tells you why. kind of explains why, uh, you know, it, it deserves it, the grade it deserves. Um, so looking here at the korean mirror force that we got graded here got 9.5 which was again incredible score um and the centering was a nine surface was a 10 edges were 9.5 and corners were 8.5 right so um here's what i'll tell you when i sent this card in i'm not gonna lie to you i looked at it i said hmm pretty good all around looks pretty good uh, I knew some. I knew the centering wasn't all there, but it, I thought it would pass. Maybe, maybe get a ten, maybe nine point five on the on the on the you know on the centering. Got a nine, which is fine, you know. And then here's the thing: an AI is grading this, so under a microscope, you could probably see the tiniest of tiniest of of damage that could probably end up on a card that you the you know the human eye can't see. And that's what's so amazing because. With mana, you know you're getting the grade you deserve. Because sometimes when a person's grading it, and no offense to a person grading it, but, you know, sometimes they can't see every little, you know, nook and cranny of a card. But with an AI, it literally measures out the card, sees everything, you know, it, it tells you. Plus, not just that, with mana, you know, it's not just an AI grading, it's a person grading as well, overlooking everything to make sure it really is the grade it deserves, right? And um, so in case the computer has something wrong or so there's something wrong, maybe the person is like, wait a second, nah, let's, let's do this again because I think the computer got it wrong because this looks pretty good. Or maybe uh, there's some scratching here. This deserves a, a lower grade, actually. So, you know, maybe they'll rerun it. Who knows? But that's the beauty of it. It's not just a computer just grading it solely it's the computer and then a person also overlooking it as well which is really nice you know and it's not just one or the other it's both and i think that's really cool because you really are deserving the grade you're getting for this card and um now let's get to it right so the horizontal alignment was off left to right um on the front of the card as well as the back of the card so sometimes people always think that the front and the back back of the card have the same centering no actually sometimes the front of the card could be off centered and the back of the card can be fully centered correctly and it looks amazing but the front of the card is not centered correctly so sometimes you gotta take a look at that as well people only check the front of the card gotta check both sides guys both sides that's a that's a major component of uh, grading your cards um also are the edges what, what's wrong with the edges are the corners okay check those things make sure there's no whitening or anything like that but then again sometimes the human eye can't see those things and that's what's so great about the ai again can tell now over here it said the back e edge damage was uh kind of you know there was a little bit of a uh, scuffing i guess right on back edge um so i'm guessing it's on top here because that's what's kind of like uh insinuating over there um now uh see that right there see that showing you little marks little marks right there that's that's the little back edge damage that the card had um so you know, honestly, I can't complain. Uh, the grade was 9.5. It wasn't perfect for a 10, but I'll take the 9.5. And, uh, you know, at least they allow me to know why it got a 9.5 and not the 10. And uh, why the corners got an 8.5 and the edges were, you know, 9.5, stuff like that. Uh, but let's take a look at the other cards as well. Because that's what you guys came here to see. Not just one card, but other cards as well. So we take, take a look here at Summon Skull. Summon Skull, beauty, beauty of a card, right? Such a beauty. 9.5 on both edges and corners. It had some back edge damage right here. You guys can see that right there, right? Uh, how do we... You can put... You can see it right there, right? The red. Right there. Um, so it had some back edge damage. The horizontal um, alignment, vertical alignment, was off, off-centered on both sides. So another reason it got the centering was a 9. Um... Yeah, everything else was pretty good with this card. I mean, other than the centering, pretty good card overall. So can't complain again. 
Um, all right, let's take a look at the next card. We have here the Winged Dragon of Raw. Um, so here there was no back edge damage, right? Um, uh, you guys can see that. There's nothing, no real big damages. But the centering was super off with this card. It got an 8. So that was threw this card off a lot. It still got 9.5, so still a really awesome card to get such a high grade on. Especially with this card actually going up in price as well, so which is nice. Um, but yeah, the centering got a, a 8, so um, I'm sure you guys can see it kind of here as well. The centering is a little off from left to right and uh, top to bottom a bit. I mean, it's kind of prevalent, right? You guys can see it left to right, right here. Right? Look how much, how much space right here. You can see it. And all, also in the back, you can see it as well. So, yeah. All right. Um, let's take a look right here with the Red Dragon Arch Fiend. Uh, no notes on this one either, but why did it get a uh, a uh, 9.5? Um, let's check. All right, right there. You guys see it? I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys see it right there. Boom, boom. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Little marks. Little marks on the on the corners. Not good. Not good. This card did not uh, get a perfect grade on the corners or the edges because there was some back edge damage, stuff like that, happening on the card. Um, so, good to see uh, as to why this card got 9.5. Still an amazing grade, but at least we're kind of seeing the little marks that actually made it a uh, 9.5. Um, let's check out the Korean Blue Eyes White Dragon. This one got a 9. This was our lowest grade um, of the whole entire uh, return, which was, again, you can't complain, right? It, 9 being your lowest grade on a 10 car return, it's pretty damn good. Um, now, uh, serving was a 9, edges were a 9, surface was a 10, and corners were 8.5. So, corners, let's see. Let's see. So, I. Let's open the notes right here. Actually, we have corners are nice, but have very slight creases. Ah, from car separation. Edges and corners were slightly marked down. All right. Well, that's that's pretty much the note they left, and that's why they got the grade it did. Um, again, sometimes they leave the note, sometimes they don't. But when they do leave the note and without showing any of like back edge damage stuff like that, you know, it's good to to know why, right? Like, again, I'm really happy that we get to get these notes and just kind of the reason why behind we got the grade we did so which is so nice um and look at that total graded copies there's five of them um there is one nine which is mine um okay so i we know two of mine are 9.5s another there's another two out there that are also 9.5 so there are a couple copies of this card that's been graded already um there's no tens and nothing below a nine so pretty good uh, so whatever gets the 10 on this card, it's going to be worth a, a good bit of change, too. But a 9 and 9.5 for a Blue Eyes White Dragon and the LOB Korean set is still, still pretty damn good. Um, Alright, so the 9.5 for this one, if we open the notes here, there's a group of very light surface scratches on the rear. So there's some scratches without... Um, see, I didn't see that. So um, when I sent it in, I did not see scratches, but again... Sometimes the human eye can't see everything, so it's good to know that um, they're really checking over these cards and making sure that the grade it, it's getting, it's deserving. Um, serving was 9.5. I thought the serving was beautiful on this card, so um, that was awesome. Got 9.5. The surface and corners, again, like they said, some slight scratches, so obviously the surface is not going to be 10. Um, so good to know, good to know. Um, as we move on now to the next Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, no notes, but here's the thing. Centering was an 8.5. It had some back edge damage, which was looks like it's prevalent. Um, oh, right there. You guys can see it right there. The X right there. Right? Right there. So it had some back edge damage for sure. Edges 9.5. Corners are 9. Surface was a 10. So um, overall, pretty good score. Pretty happy. Not not complaining. Um, so, yeah. Monster Reborn. Let's check this one out. Uh, we open the notes here. There's a small amount of surface damage on the rear bottom right corner bottom right corner right here you guys can see it so again very very you know to the point you guys know what exactly is wrong with the card getting to see exactly why i got the grade it did centering was 8.5 so not great on the centering you can kind of see it though the right is a little bit more than the left right here so you can kind of see it also top to bottom you can definitely see it top to bottom <laughs> yeah you can definitely see it um so yeah uh, let's uh, 
take a look at the next one. We have uh, the arm of Exodia. Some back edge damage, it's saying. You can see it right here. Look at that. Back edge damage. You can see it right there. No notes for this one. But, um, yeah, centering was 9. A little off-centered. Little. Just a tiny bit. But still, 9.5. Can't complain. Pretty good score. Um, and then our last card for the return that we got. Um, surface was a 10. Edges were a 10. 9.5 on the centering. Corners were a 9. Um, no damages uh, to what I can see. But let's take a look at the notes. So close to a 10 centering. Ah! 1% off lowest entry. Oh, man. So close to a 10 centering. Ah, oh, man. It, it gets you wondering, man. It's just, just a tiny bit more. It could have got me the 10, man. This is a... Oh, man. And I'm not going to lie to you. If that, I think if that had centering had got a 10 there, this would have been our first mana of 10. Um, but we got some more cards that we're setting in for grading for sure. I cannot wait to see what we get. And hopefully we get a 10. I'm begging the Lord we get a 10. Because that would be amazing. Um sending some pretty nice cards in as well um so you guys will see where we're sending in as well before we send it in but um should be awesome i hope you guys enjoyed and I definitely you know like i said great with mana grading guys it's definitely worth it in my opinion you know a lot of the other grading companies they take too long they're messing up a lot of times it, mana grading the customer service is great the grading process is amazing the return how fast it comes back is amazing i mean i got mine less than two weeks guys i mean how can you complain about that right um trust me you're, you're not gonna be disappointed at all i mean i'm i'm excited to grade with them again i mean i really am i just it's just so much fun and um what a great company um and i'm glad i'm you know i'm with them uh for the long term um and hopefully forever because they they're truly amazing um and remember to use code ten, uh Use code. Use code SPARKMAN for 10% off uh, your order with mana grading because it's definitely worth it, like I said. And uh, all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll uh, catch you in the next one. Please subscribe, like, comment. Peace out, YouTube.